Hey guys, Lonnie from Red Moto. So today we're gonna to be working on this 2013 Lexus ES300 front bumper removal and installation. If you guys like this video, go ahead and like, subscribe, and turn on that push notification. And then also, if you guys need any pre-painted auto body parts for your car, go to redmoto.com, your pre-painted auto body parts source. If you guys need this particular bumper for your vehicle, the link is up above and also down below. Let's get started. Alright, now time to install that front bumper. So what I like to do first is to line up the, the middle piece. And then get one of these push pins right here and clip the middle piece in place. So all I did was get that push pin right there and clip it into place and now it holds the bumper. So now what I'm doing is going to go ahead and line up the sides. All I'm doing is pulling the bumper to the side. And I'm going to grab that wire harness right there. And then go ahead and plug it into place. And you should hear that click. That fog light is in place. Now we're going to go to the other side. The other side has two wires basically. Those two wires are going to be your sensors and also your fog lights. So same thing we do on this side. And go in there. See it makes it a lot easier whenever you secure that one piece because if I was pulling this without securing that this thing this whole thing will fall off. Then that'll damage your bumper. Then that defeats the purpose of you uh, replacing your bumper. That's in place. Now I'm just, just putting this in. There we go. Since we're already here, let's go ahead and line up that bumper. So remember this, this thing right here goes in there. The fender liner goes to the back, just like that, just like that. Go ahead and put that into place. Okay. So on this side right here, we're going to go ahead and uh, turn the wheel. Alright guys. So we have this plastic piece right here. So we're just gonna go ahead and pull this back out again. And put this place, this thing back into place. There we go. Then we have this. I'm gonna go ahead and screw that back into place. And go ahead and get this fender liner back into place. Okay. So, on that side, we also have this piece right here that goes right above right here. All right. We have this piece right here. It goes right in here. And then you twist it. Down there would be this. Alright, 
couple of things I do want to tell you guys is if your bumper is not lining up properly it's because you guys have this thing right here it's the mud guard or the engine splash guard that part right there has to go underneath the bumper okay so I can't do it right now with my hands but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, push this bumper on top of I mean this engine cover right here on top of the bumper so you guys can see it's kind of loose it's outside all right so I'm gonna go underneath here and I'm gonna go ahead and put my hand in there and I'm pulling the bumper a little bit and then just shoving that in there All right, so now that engine covers completely in place, looks good. All right, so we're gonna go underneath and go ahead and put these bolts back into place. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and put all these clips back into place. So there's like push pins everywhere. So we're going to go ahead and push pin right here. Push pin right here. Ah. And right there. One over here. All right. Let me put this engine cover back into place. Just like that. A little snafu right here. And this one right here doesn't actually have this clip. What it does have is this one right here. That goes right there. And then this other one right here also goes away. And this thing goes in there. Okay. All right, so now we go ahead and put all these other ones in place. These little tiny push pins. Alright guys, so that's how you remove and install a Lexus ES300 front bumper. Thank you guys for watching.